91 <coughs> Honda Nighthawk 750 yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little cough. But, uh, front brakes still need to be bled. It's got fork seals uh, leaking. But, fixing to go run around a little bit, tighten up the chain. Turn signals ain't working. Other than that, it's at least running good now. It's had some old gas in it. <clears throat> Been sitting up. Turn the fuel on. There we go. You can see rust. I need to get off there. On the car pads. Take it for a spin. Get in neutral. It's got mismatched, mismatched mirrors. Clutch cable was broke when I bought it. So I picked one of those up and uh, <clears throat> put it on yesterday evening. I got a new master cylinder ordered for it. The sight glasses actually cracked on this master cylinder. So just going to take it slow and see how it runs out. It is a little cold blooded. I'm used to my big dual sport, so this thing feels like a low rider compared to what I'm used to riding. is rated at 75 horsepower 460 pound dry weight so it don't feel heavy at all it sits super low I'm six foot tall it's comfortable for me I could use a little more leg room but uh, I'm still comfortable Like at about, let's see, it's like at 55, you're uh, turning about 36, 3700 RPMs. Top gear, fifth gear. I'm assuming this is stock gear. I don't really know. I, uh, if it don't sell pretty quick, I'll end up putting a chain and sprockets on it. And I'll probably go back to factory gearing uh, if it's not already. I believe the factory front sprockets are 15 tooth. And the rears, uh, I'm not really sure. I think I run a 40. So I'll go back with a 40, 38 tooth, something like that. up here and get it on the interstate. See how many RPM at 70. 